A local news reporter in Los Angeles called a radio show host a pig after he talked about her underwear on uh, his program. Or actually, he wrote about it online and then uh, later threatened to talk about it on his program. So the story is about uh, Casey Montoya. She works at KTLA in Los Angeles. And apparently, after she wore uh, a white dress, uh, Matt Allen, who is a radio host with Outlaw, says, am I the only one amazed, aghast, and agape by the black thong clearly visible behind Casey Montoya's gorgeous white lace dress on the KTLA Channel 5 Morning News? I will be discussing this visual phenomenon later today. Okay. So, yeah, probably you're the only one aghast and agape by it. <laughs> I mean, if that were to happen, and it turns out it didn't, yeah. um, uh, most people would have been like, would either not notice or notice and thought, okay, great, rock and roll. I, I don't think a lot of people were aghast and agape. Agape. Can we go back to the picture of her? I mean, this is the most, like, she is so modestly dressed that it's offensive to me. <laughs> like, you're a beautiful woman. No, I'm just kidding. Wear whatever you want, right? But, like, she's so modestly dressed. How the hell? I mean, look, you don't see the bottom of her dress, but I don't even care. First of all, don't comment on what she's wearing and make it seem as though she's like some scantily clad, promiscuous woman who's on the news, right? Mm -hmm. It's just, it's so frustrating when people comment on stuff like that. But and, and there's no winning. Guys have it easy. We all have a uniform, right? Yeah. If, there are, if you're a TV anchor, you wear the jacket, and you wear the tie, and you're done. It's the same uniform for everybody. But for women, Hillary Clinton wears pantsuits. They're like, oh, the pantsuits, right? She wears this outfit, oh, that outfit. Yeah. Every outfit's a crime of some sort. Besides which, in this case, as usual, it's not even true. Because yeah. conservatives living in a different reality, he made it up. Is he conservative? I don't know anything about it. I don't know. He is a gape, though. He is a gape, and he's yeah. an outlaw radio, so he must be really cool. So here's what she said to him. You're actually a pig and spreading false info. As if it was any of your business, it's not. I was not wearing a black thong today. Is this the single men who live in their mother's basements? Is this what single men who live in their mother's basements discuss on their podcast these days? Hashtag lame. Some advice, find something truthful and meaningful to talk about and leave me out of your conversation. He responded back with, this was meant tongue in cheek, knowing that you are not wearing a black thong or if you were well aware that it was not clearly visible. What? He, he writes so poorly. Yeah, he does. It's impossible to read it out loud. With the exception of true admi admiration for the cut of your dress and your articulation in the presentation of climate type topics, without your permission, may I offer you some advice? Chill out, stop taking yourself so seriously, and attempt to festoon upon your face a sense of humor. Cheers, Matt. Okay, so what an idiot. I just look, I want people to understand like the how it what it's like to to be a woman and to constantly have everything you wear and everything you do judged, right? So like, look, I get it. Women wear different things. It's not like men who wear suits usually when they're doing a broadcast. But at the same time, you very rarely have people talk about like okay, I'll give you an example. The equivalent of what that guy did to her, right? Let's say a, a male host, like Haas, for instance, he loves skinny jeans, right? Mm -hmm. If Haas is wearing skinny jeans, no one's going to watch the show and be like, oh, man, I think we see the, like, the outline of his dick. You know, no mm. one fucking does that, right? With dudes, it's like, you wear whatever you want, no one cares, it's, it's fine. With women, it's like, it's too tight, your arms are showing, oh, my God, I can see, you know, the curvature of your hip, and that's, that's offensive. Oh, you're or dressed you're like a grandma, oh, my, like... Or your arms are not showing. Your arms are not showing. Or this or that. Like, you know, there's it, no end to it. It happens every year, every season without fail. Wintertime, I wear sweaters because it's cold, and I get comments about how I look like a grandma. Summertime, I'm in L.A., it's obviously very hot, right? I wear stuff like this, and it's like, can she just cover up and be a little more modest when she's on air? No, I'm going to wear what I want to wear, okay? <laughs> so the only comments I get is uh, uh, queries as to whether I have legs or not. He does oh, not, no legs. No, it's just, I'm just floating out here like this. Okay, anyways, uh, so ba back to this uh, Matt Allen on Outlaw Radio, okay? But he claims like, oh, I was obviously kidding. Uh, obviously, you weren't wearing a black thong. 
But Matt, how would that be obvious to anyone who's reading what you're writing? They didn't watch the program. Yeah. So what kind of a joke is that? That doesn't make any sense. And no, you made it up and then you got caught and then you try to play it off like a joke. Yeah. And he and said, stops. "I'm amused, aghast, and agape." He, he <laughs> said, uh, "An attempt to festoon upon your face a sense of humor." <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that. Please don't use words you don't understand. <laughs> and and he sounds like Sarah Palin when he says that he had admiration for your articulation in the presentation of climate type topics. Ay, 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 ay. If you're going to go and make fun of other people, make sure you got your own stuff in order. And when you're talking about festooning and agaping of the articulations, <laughs> okay, you don't have your stuff in order. You're making it up in the first place. There's plenty of stuff to talk about without inventing non controversies. Yeah. So, almost literally in this, in this case, get off her ass already. You want to watch the whole two hour show, Young Turks, anytime you want, anywhere you want, any way you want, no commercials? I know what you're thinking. People should die. They want Tony Snow to die. Cheney to die. That's not what I meant at all. <laughs> Nonetheless, become a member, trtnetwork.com slash join.